Well, hello, STLP. Welcome to the 2020 STLP State Championship Project Award Show. You may have watched earlier on a different uh, video where we announced our digital product finalists, our, our live challenge winners, and uh, recognized our service team members who uh, participated in STLP at home over the course of this last week. Uh, this video now, we're going to be focusing in on recognizing our project state champions. So uh, we've got a lot to cover. I want to get right to it. But first, let me just quickly uh, introduce myself. Uh, I'm Jeff Sabalski, and I have the honor and privilege of acting as the manager for the Student Technology Leadership Program, STLP, for the Kentucky Department of Ed, which means I get to see all of the cool and great things that you're doing with technology in your school to help your fellow classmates, to help your community, to help your, to help your uh, uh, other folks at your school, using that technology to grow and learn and definitely over these last few weeks, uh, we have seen how Kentucky takes advantage of technology to harness learning, even when we're not at the school building. So it's been, a, it's been a strange few weeks for all of us. I know that. And I know that it was heartbreaking for a lot of folks when we announced that we were going to be postponing the in-person STLP state championship at Rupp Arena back in April. But it was never a doubt that we would have some sort of state championship for you after all of the work you've done this year to get this far. Um, so that's where ST, STLP at Home came from, was this desire to make sure that we had a spotlight and a stage to shine um, for all of the students in 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 Kentucky who have participated in STLP, who've prepared, who've worked hard to get ready. and what you've done over the last few weeks when we've asked you to transition and pivot to this all digital format has just been absolutely inspiring. And I, I'm so proud of the work that you have all done to get to this point. So let's just jump right into it and get rolling with the awards presentations. I want to start with those celebrations and some thank yous. Uh, first things first, uh, you know, we have lots of partners that we rely on to make STLP happen. Um, and one of those big partners is uh, KET, Kentucky Education Television, and KET Education in particular. You probably had a chance to interact with them when you were at your regional event because they came with us to every regional around the state. And uh, they have been a, a, a strong supporter in the background and in the forefront for STLP promoting and just there to help us do anything that we can wrap our minds around. And so we just want to say thank you to all of our, our friends and partners at KET. And another strong partnership that we have is with, with KISTI, the Kentucky Society for Technology and Education. Uh, KISTI supports STLP in many different ways, including some scholarships, which we'll bring up here in a moment. Uh, but also, you know, we take our STLP engineers to their KISTI conference every spring in Louisville, and our STLP engineers provide technical support for that whole conference. It's a statewide technology conference for technology educators, and it's supported by students. So that's pretty fantastic. They, they, have, a, they have a great a great group of folks that are behind the scenes running that show. And right now, actually, we have a video from one of the KISTI board members because KISTI provides scholarships every year for STLP seniors and some other scholarships. And they have a quick announcement video that we want to share with you right now. Hi, STLP. I'm Marianne Rankin, Director of Technology for Boone County Schools and a member of the KISTI board, Kentucky Society for Technology and Education. Every year, KISTI recognizes four STLP seniors with $1,000 scholarships. And on behalf of the KISTI board, I would like to announce those recipients. The Gary and Becky Grant Scholarship, Logan Turner, Floyd County High School, Mary Grace Yeager Scholarship, Christine Brickall, Belfry High School, and Pike County. 
the Elaine Harrison Lane Scholarship, Allie Gill, Owen County High School, and the Kisti STLP Senior Scholarship, Charles C. Garman, Cumberland County High School. Congratulations to all of our recipients. And if you're going to be an STLP senior next year, look for our scholarship application window to open in November. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you, Mary Ann, and thank you to the KISTI board for those wonderful scholarships to our STLP students, and congratulations to all the recipients. Um, good luck in your future endeavors. Your leadership got you to this point, and I, I'm sure many more great things are going to be coming your way. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out, and I'm going to invite in a couple special guests. We're going to connect remotely, um, and they're going to have some big announcements for us. Hang tight. All right, everybody, so here we go. This is the big moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, months and months of work have led up to this big moment, and I know we're all super anxious to find out about who our state champs will be for the STLP 2019-2020 project season. And so without further ado, I'm going to hand you over to Dr. Marty Park, who's the Chief Digital Officer for uh, the Kentucky Department of Education, and Mr. David Couch, who is the Associate Commissioner of Ed for the Office of Education Technology. Take it away, guys. Let's hear what we got to hear. Jeff, thank you so much. This is such an awesome celebration for our students making things with technology, making great products, and that's something that we're all about and that we've always been about here in Kentucky. We are super fortunate and blessed to have uh, awesome leadership in our state from David Couch, our associate commissioner, and, uh, you know, he's led this work for, for over 25 years. And so, um, you know, having the opportunity to celebrate our students together today uh, as we apply all of the awesome um, learning opportunities by using technologies. Um, and so, David, are you ready? I am ready. You know, um, you can see the background behind me. This is normally back would have happened back on April 9th and it's my favorite working day of the year so it shifted from April 9th uh, to today and um, you know the part that there's a lot of reasons why this this year is, is so special um, but for me is it, it highlights uh, Kentucky like we've never been highlighted before you mentioned we've been at this over for, for 25 years and Kentucky has found itself in this situation the best prepared state in the United States. And part of it is I would normally, as you know, when, when we do this at the Rupp Arena stage, I say, welcome to Rupp Arena. And we're on the floor there. We get this roar of the kids that have excited. And we've had, you know, 12 to 14,000 people part, you know, part of this day. But as you know, I always say, and I want to remind folks and make sure people know why Kentucky is so special, that this is not happening across the United States, anywhere else. And uh, it, it, it's important for me for, to let students know that uh, because they say, well, you know, what, what makes this so special? And, and really the things we've been able to do really since March, since we found out that we'd had to do things differently, we found really Kentucky is the best prepared state in the United States when it comes to education technology. Far from perfect, far from perfect, but the best prepared state. Uh, and we've been able to do things with virtual like we never had before. But a key component of that going back to early March was, well, do we have the STLP state championship or not? And we were going back and forth during that time frame. And we said, you know what? We still want to do this. We still think there's a way to do it. Yes, we would rather they all be, I'd be on this stage like I was last year. And Jeff is where he's at and Marty's where we're at. We all wish we were at, you know, Rupp Arena. But you know what? For folks staying with it and making this happen during this time, I can't say I've been more proud um, than I am today. Because when you, when you take a look at the other states around the United States, they closed school early. They, 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 they threw it in early and said, we're closed. Kentucky stayed the course and said, you know what? We're going to finish this academic year. We're going to give our best effort for the kids throughout the academic year, make sure they get the amount of hours they're supposed to get. And we're all still going to conduct an STLP state championship. And, and I can't say, you know, you know, putting this together for 25 years and being part of it, while the past two months has been very difficult, I can't say I've been more proud to be part of something, to be part of a state. And I hope our students and our parents and our adults and anyone else that are watching this 
understands what a unique, really unique thing we have with STLP, our Student Technology Leadership Program uh, here in Kentucky. And it is one of a kind. It is unique. There is no state that has more and does more with student technology than the state of Kentucky, even though there's states a lot bigger than us. We still have bigger numbers and, 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 and do more things with technology than any other state. And as Jeff, you know, usually I have up on the board, who was the first state to do this, the first state to do that? And I have a list of three or four other states. And I say, nope, it's Kentucky that did it first. It's Kentucky the largest in the nation. And, and something that we should be very proud of. Like I say, we're far from 100% perfect, but this state and our schools and our technology uh, has something to be very proud of. And, and, and during this time, like no other time in my 25 years, I've seen people value what we do. Um, and, and we become essential. And I always thought we were essential before, but we really are essential. And I really think this time, what we're doing uh, with STLP and doing everything we do in the transition, we'll always be part of the toolbox going forward. We've, we've crossed a threshold. And even today during the, the state board meeting, the Kentucky Board of Education meeting, you know, one of our board members talked about STLP uh, being highlighted and the importance of it it has to the students and, and, and to the, the, the folks across this state. And especially during this time, and I got notes from different districts about the importance that STLP has played through this time of getting cross and getting through a tough time uh, and, and focusing on, on something else. And I always tell folks, you really tell who someone is, not necessarily during the good times, but during the tough times. You really can see it. And so what I see when, you know, we've had, you know, at the beginning, Jeff, when we started this back uh, in, early in the school year, when we were, we were uh, you know, in, in you know, Western Kentucky at Murray State University kicking this thing off in November, and you know, getting to go to all the regional projects and you know, added Owensboro this year because there was such demand, uh, and saw our numbers just grow so high. You know, we got you know close to 1,800 different projects that we started out with, and, and you know, at the end of our discussion here, we're going to talk about the top 20 in the state through all that gamut, and even through this, you know, the perseverance and grit it takes to make it all the way through the normal state championship we would be, but this year is even more special. It's even more special, I think, I think to me to see what we've done and what we've done with it. And normally we'd be talking about, hey, listen, the winners of tonight, our state champions, you know, what would be sent in to Anaheim, California, you know, in, 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 in end of June and early July. Obviously that's not going to happen, but we're going to talk about, and we'll be working with, you know, the districts about something special for them to make it a really special, special opportunity. It's also during this time, you know, Jeff, that, and you know that as, as we looked at a different way to do it, STLP home and do the state champion from there, is I always remind folks, we really have a staff of one, a full-time staff of one that leads STLP, and that's Jeff Sobolski. Um, and he champions that for us. I can't imagine a better champion. And, you know, of course, I'm on the stage and Jeff does the same thing. And he's like, you know, stop talking about that. But I'm truly grateful to have someone like Jeff Champion and, 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 and what to see what it's done and it's grown. Uh, of course, at Lane Harrison Lane, you know, we started with her and Jeff has really taken taken that and, and take it to another another level, which, of course, Lane's very happy about. But Jeff counts on the goodness and the big hearts of a lot of different people. And those are the folks on our Office of Education Technology staff and the Kentucky Department of Education, other parts in the Kentucky Department of Education that 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 we work with and 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 and, and do things with just in, in education technology and education in general other parts of state agencies like our kentucky education television who is a tremendous partner they were at all of our regional competitions you saw them and you, a lot of kids were taking pictures there at their booth and they're also going to play a role to help us get this out across the state as well with with, with their partnership but also our great partnership with our districts, Jeff. Um, you know, the folks that the STLP mentors, the champions that help make that great things happen for kids. But also what was so awesome is all the judging that occurred during this time. People volunteering their time, going above and beyond the call of duty to help make a great thing happen for kids. And I know, Jeff, in your opening, and I always follow up, is all the students that, that, that have benefited from this need to give a high five, you know, a virtual high five, or elbow now, uh, you know, to those that helped make something special happen to them. And in the audience, normally they would turn, you know, on point and high five and and other times maybe hug them, you know, and say thank you. So I can't say thank you enough, you know, for the volunteers 
that make special things happen for our students. You know, and, the, and like I say, it's, this is districts. We also have higher ed that helps us out. Lots of other state agencies and even people that have retired. And Jeff, you know this, and, and, and either from our school systems and something else, and they come back and they're volunteer judges or help us operate and put all this together. So I'm very, very thankful and grateful uh, for all those that make these special things happen with our close to 60,000 students and STLP across the state. There is nobody else that has one and it. If they do have one, there is nobody close to how good ours is. I'd really do our things. Ours is five by far the best in the nation. This is our 26th year of STLP, 26th year of it. And this is our 13th state championship. We used to just have the regional ones and have that, but we moved to a format that we wanted to centralize in a big time arena. And that's when we moved it to Rupp Arena many, you know, 13 years ago and, and, and made that happen for them. So I do want, you know, I just want to give that introduction to make sure everyone's aware of this really special event. Um, and. and personally how much it means to me to see people push through and persevere to this point right here. These state champions are pretty unique state champions. David, you always talk about how this this opportunity uh, through our student technology leadership program uh, really shines a bright light on the best of the best and how um, our Kentucky students have the opportunity to, to show and demonstrate that they can compete against anyone on the planet, um, and and even more so this year. Uh, can you just you know to say may, maybe a little bit more about our students in Kentucky standing shoulder to shoulder, competing across other you know folks across the globe? Well, you know, obviously one of my favorite parts is we're on the stage, we're getting ready to name the top twenty, and I go through this, and I want to make sure the parents understand the really the really what a highlight this is for their child to be recognized on this stage. And it's just not unique Kentucky because I would take them up and I would say they could compete equally with anybody else in the country. And we've had people win the state championship and parts of the team go compete in another one and win it. And, 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 and somewhat doubting so how well you'll think they'll do. And I remember saying, well, since you won Kentucky, I like your odds. So we've had great success. And normally part of what we do is we bring our alumni that have been part of STLP across the stage and talk about the incredible things they are doing today. So STLP, you know, you may go in the technology field, you may not, but those that no matter what they do, they do some pretty special things and they usually go back and said, you know what? STLP played a big role in my life. And, and it, was, it was a year ago about this time, I was in a meeting of, of just 20 people and I was trying to encourage them to come to it. And what I didn't realize is three or four of the people in there, you know, they had a strong connection to it and they helped me champion the rest of it. One of them said, you know what, the reason I chose my career path in life is because of STLP. Another one was a parent that talked about the importance that STLP had played in their life. And, and we see that here today, this year, the importance that STLP has played in children's life, just not preparing them for instruction. But what it, reason I like STLP is also it has leadership in it. And it's teaching them leadership and life skills. So, yes, they're doing a technology project, but they're they're doing it and they're presenting it in a way that is a life skill. And it's a leadership skill and it's a perseverance skill to make it to this point and to go from a school to, a, to you know, compete, and compete in regions and to go to a state that's going to well prepare you for life. And I don't care where you go. And we found our STLP students, no matter where they go in the United States, they do well. Very proud of what we've done with this program. And, and and I guess I'll say this with my mom. She says, of all the stuff you're, you've done, um, this is the most meaningful. That's awesome. Jeff, David, you ready for this? Ready for this. Let's do it. All right. During this time, we're going to announce our top 20, top 20 projects. You know, we started the gamut with 1,800. And now we have da gotten down to our top 20. And once I announce our top 20, I'm going to announce from that top 20, there's four of you that are our state champions. You are going to announce the state champion in elementary level, our middle school, six through eight level, and then our high school level, and then our pure state champion in technology. We call our Dave Ziegler Award, named after one of our former employees. That was part of the early establishment of much of what we're doing in the Kentucky Education Technology System with KETS. And I can't leave this out. 
Who was the very first state to have internet to every district and every school? Kentucky. Kentucky. Yes. And that list is pretty long of our greatest hits album, which we, we talk about frequently that we were the first to do it and the largest and the best. But David Ziegler was a big part of us establishing internet services uh, to every school district and every school in Kentucky. And, and amongst many other things, going all the way to helping get internet to school buses that he played a role in. But David passed away. And we it, and he passed away years ago. So we named the Dave Ziegler Award. I mean, we wanted to recognize one of our state champions, you know, just for, for the pure technology project that, that, that it is. So let's talk about the top 20, Jeff. Here we go. And I can imagine I'm looking at them sitting, you know, over to my, I guess they would normally be my right. You know, they're, they're standing over there, uh, all the groups. And then now I'm going to announce the, who the top 20 is. So, uh, and this is in no particular order. So they're purposely jumbled up. So our first of the top 20 is Jeff's day off online STLP project, Franklin Simpson Middle School, Simpson County. High fives. Number two, worth more than gold, Robinson County School, Robinson County. Kentucky History and 360, Eminence High School, Eminence Independent. The Westwood Hook, Fairview High School, Fairview Independent. Leah's Alarm. Glasgow High School, Glasgow Independent. VR Ed, Russell High School, Russell Independent. Girls Who Code, Audubon Elementary School, Davies County. Morel, Morel, M- Media, Bowen, oh, sorry, let me, let me do that one again. I've uh, got my comma mixed up there. Uh, Morel, Media, Bowen Elementary, Powell County. The QR Community Helpers, Estes Elementary School, Owensboro Independent. No Child Left Behind, Ashland Middle School, Ashland Independent. (laughs) On the Air, Gallatin County Upper Elementary, Gallatin County. By the way, I think, Marty, you're giving high fives to people up on the stage as they're coming up on the stage for it. Community outreach, serving our home, school, and community with pride. Jefferson Elementary School, Henderson County. The Bulldog Learning Lab, Lebanon Junction Elementary School, Bullock County. Blake's Lemons Project with a twist. Blake Elementary, Jefferson County. (laughs) PES Tech Team, Prestonsburg Elementary, Floyd County. PSA, Common Area Expectations. South Marshall Elementary School, Marshall County. My hands hurt. My hands hurt. (laughs) High fives. (laughs) Animating History, Summit Elementary School, Boyd County. (laughs) 
BU, Youth Offering Understanding, West Ridge Elementary, Franklin County. LSV Life Saving Vest, Allen Elementary School, Floyd County. And our last of the top 20, telling the bigger story. Hardin County Early College and Career Center, Hardin County. Now, normally during this time, as you, as you know, Jeff, is... Um, I, I really ask for these state champions and all the ones that we've already announced in our you know, other categories that folks do, the, do something in their local media, do something on their social media and recognize them as they would any other state champion. Because I know last year is we had a couple of our state champions that we recognize and even the top 20, when they came back, they were recognized as if they'd won an athletic state championship. You know, the, they were greeted by the fire engines and the police cars and escorted in. So, so, so make a big deal. This is a big deal. And that was the purpose of us giving this intro to be a Kentucky state champion is you, you just not a state champion in Kentucky. You can wear that with pride anywhere in the United States, because most of the other parts of the United States knows Kentucky has the best education technology system in the United States. So when you win here, you're pretty special. And I'm very proud of all the ones that we normally would that, that be the stage behind me, you know, standing behind me in our top 20 group. And at this point, I'm turning around and I'm giving high fives, you know, to every one of the students that came up on our stage to recognize them as a top 20 finalist. And so, uh, you know, my you know, applause here, high fives to all of you for being in the top 20 in the state of Kentucky in student technology leadership. And David, over your left hand shoulder are those trophies that Jeff was yeah. are planning to get those out as soon as we can. Yep, those will be going Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Now, at this part of it, I normally do on the stage is, uh, you know, I, I name the, the, the 16 schools um, that are that are the, 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 the that, that, that they are not the state champions, but they ended up end up being our runner up. But I'm going to change that a little bit because they're not up on the stage. And so I'm going to name off our four state champions. Um, now. We're going to have to put sound effects to this, and I'm counting on it because this is one of my coolest. I told you this is my funnest work day of the year, and it's, it's seeing all the projects because I saw them from the region, Jeff, and I saw how they improved them here. Um, but then to recognize that they're state champions. So like I say, normally we have 20 on the stage, and I'm, I'm naming them off. At some point, the kids turn around. And they recognize there's only four remaining schools on the stage. You can see them not showing excitement. You know, until I get to the point, if you're still on this stage, then you are one of our four state champions. So I'm not going to read through all the, the, the names again. I'm just going to go straight to the four. Uh, but congratulations to these four. And normally Jeff and I would say, by the way, uh, don't scatter out. We want to take an individual picture with you, a team photo of all of our state champions and the individual school state champions. So we'll have to do that some other way. I'd really want to meet them. Uh, you know, and interact with them. So we'll do something where we can do something similar with our state champions. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm very proud. And, you know, I always say anyone that does something like this, it gives you an at bad at life. It just sees what it's like to compete. And for me as a young boy, and I grew up, you know, in a rural part, eastern part of our state, is there sometimes you feel like, you know what, you know, you can't compete, you know, with anyone else outside your own county. And then when I, you know, it was a competition and I played sports and I said, well, you know what, I can compete with someone next to the county. And then I started competing with people other different parts of the state in other states. And you realize, you know what, you're just as good and you compete with just about anybody. And so that's one of the purposes of STLP, too, is to let you know, you know what, you have the skills and confidence to compete with anybody, just not in Kentucky, but from around your area. And so it's a pretty big deal. So this is a special moment, uh, special moment for me. So let's talk about our elementary school state champion. This project got the best technical project in the state, the Dave Ziegler Award. And Jeff, this is unique. This has never happened before. We have a three-peat, a three-time in a row state champion, different projects, three times in a row. From Allen Elementary School in Floyd County, 
their life-saving vest, our cha state champion in the Pure Technical Project. <laughs> Congrats, Alan, elementary school. That's Man. so cool. And I can still see those, you still see them, you know, still see those students doing their, their project and that, that incredible project to do. And, and they've had a couple in the row here, Jeff, to where, you know, I can remember the one they won, I think it was last year with the car seat to where someone, you know, someone accidentally leaves someone in a car seat, it sends an alarm, you know, so that it's very practical types of stuff that they're trying to do and very yes. technical. So impressive. So impressive. Very nice. And I know their sponsor is going to immediately say it's all the kids. It's all the kids. <laughs> He is. So he is. It, They're very they're, fortunate. They're yeah. Awesome. Awesome group of kids. So now to our elementary school state champion. And this is also unique in the United States to where most people think of these things for, for just high school. But we have elementary, middle school and high school. And it's such a cool thing for me to see middle schoolers developing these skill sets. Just not uh, putting a project together, but working as a team together and organizing that and then in speaking and then you know it, it's just such a fun thing to watch this happen at very young young grades so our best elementary school in the state of kentucky for stlp is blake elementary school from jefferson county blake's lemons project with a twist and the twist is your state champion <laughs> congratulations Congratulations, Jefferson County and Blake Elementary School. And fantastic growth of STLP from that school district. Unbelievable. Yep. Now to our middle school category, grades six through eight. And, you know, I've been familiar with this school district for a while. They have been very involved with STLP, Jeff, from the very beginning. And it's actually been fun to see some of their graduates that have gone on in life and that we stay in contact with them of the neat thing that they're doing. Um, so our middle school state champion is from Ashland Middle School. Ashland Independent, no child left behind. <laughs> now by this time, Jeff, because we're, we've kind of gone on the sequence, you know, the, 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 the faces, the facial expressions, you know, it's always my favorite part where we get the camera shots of them, you know, being right. recognized and they're, they're the state champion. And then the moms and the and the dads and the and the relatives and their classmates all cheering them on from the stands is we can't simulate that here, but I just hear them. I hear all that. David, I know our students and our teachers and our families are watching us live right now and watching us as you have one more to announce, but I guarantee you that we have some STLP coaches that are capturing that for us and we'll share it later. <laughs> oh, good. Good. And our final state champion uh, for STLP is from Fairview High School on Fairview Independent, the West Brook Book. And normally I turn and say, ladies and gentlemen, these are your Kentucky state champions. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, these are our very top, the best of the best in awesome. Kentucky. It's awesome. It's awesome. Proud to be part of this. This whole effort and proud to be a part of today. Special. David, Gentlemen, again, thank you. David, once again, uh, and, and Jeff, the, the efforts that you put into everything are absolutely amazing for kids. And David, um, I know you won't you won't say this because you're humble, but your leadership is unmatched. Absolutely unmatched. And what what you've been able to uh, the path you've led us into for over 25 years um, for hundreds of thousands of kids um, is unbelievable. So thank you. Well, thank you. But I'd also say, you know, it's the teachers, it's the students, it's the schools, and we're just trying to make cool things happen for them. And I'm thank glad you. today happened, but, but about, proud to be part of this, proud to be part of STLP. Thanks to everyone to make this happen. Congratulations to our top 20. Congratulations to our state champions and congratulations to all the other champions uh, in our other categories. See you next year. So again, congratulations to our STLP state champions for 2020. Amazing stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy for you. Great work. Um, give a big shout out to your STLP coach, to all of your 
parents and folks at home who helped you pull that presentation together. Um, congratulations, absolutely. And we, of course, we want to also take just a moment and recognize all of our best in level two group projects because there were several groups that made it from level two judging on to level three uh, that were not named into the best, uh, the top 20. But nevertheless, that was an amazing journey that they've made all the way from uh, concept, uh, the concept of their project up to regionals and on to level two. So let's just take a moment to recognize Arrive Alive from Allen Elementary School in Floyd County, Bedheads, Robert D. Campbell, Junior High from Clark County, Chromebook Help Desk from Bowling Green High School, Bowling Green Independent, Commemorating DCMS, Davis County Middle School in Davis County, Concussions, Floyd County Early College Academy in Floyd County, Donut Bully from Mason County Middle School, Essentials for Santa, Duff Allen Central Elementary School, Floyd County, Feeding the Future, Ashland Middle School, Helping Friends with Paws, Sutton Elementary School, Owensboro Independent, Highlands Jammers, the Highland Elementary School from Davis County, Kenwood Techno Cubs from Kenwood Elementary, Jefferson County, Lost and Found, Eminence Middle School, One School, One Book, Simpson Elementary School, Simpson County, Red Hound Connections, Corbin High School, Corbin Independent, Repurposing Kudzu, Belfry High School in Pike County, Save Our Stories, Mullins Elementary School, Pike County, School News at McKee Elementary from McKee Elementary in Jackson County. School Safety Model, Robertson County School in Robertson County. Science Every Day, Mullins Elementary School in Pike County. The STEM Squad, South Floyd Elementary, Floyd County. Student Parent Tech Hub, Conway Middle School, Jefferson County. The Students Backpack Team from Lockoff Elementary in Jefferson County. Tech Tutors from Henry Moss Middle School in Warren County. The Double Wheelchair, Allen Elementary School in Floyd County. The Good Samaritan, Franklin Simpson Middle School, Simpson County. TJ Amorum Navigation App from Glasgow High School, Glasgow Independent. And together we can make a difference, Cochrane Elementary in Jefferson County. Just one last congratulations to everyone and a, another just heartfelt thank you to everyone who has helped um, make STLP happen this year. Uh, there's been so many uncertainties and, and difficulties and challenges and hurdles for folks to overcome to participate in STLP at home and just want everyone to know that we, we recognize uh, the sacrifices that you made to make this happen for students and for our children, and we just want to say thank you and congratulations one more time. All of this information will be posted on our STLP at Home info page and will be listed on our STLP main website at stlp.education.ky.gov. Have a great day. Thanks.